Good morning. This is Agashwani Kohima. The morning news are read by Jonas Yantan. President Draupadi Murmu said that the cause of justice is best served by making it more accessible, citizen-centric and by removing any barriers preventing it. The President was speaking at a Constitutional Day celebrations organized by the Supreme Court in New Delhi yesterday. President Murmu said the day celebrates the values enshrined in the Constitution and its application in day-to-day life. She highlighted the fundamental principles of justice, liberty, equality and fraternity that helped India gain independence and continues to guide its conduct. The President added that a more varied representation of India's unique diversity on bench and bar delivers justice better. She appreciated the Supreme Court's power and bench for constantly raising the standards of jurisprudence. The President expressed confidence that with a vibrant judiciary, the health of India's democracy is never going to be a cause for concern. Prime Minister Narendra Modi appreciated the use of digital payments mode by citizens during Diwali. In his Mangibad episode on Akashwani yesterday, Modi said this was the second consecutive year when the trend of buying goods through cash payments was on decline. State Bank of India in its recently released EcoRap report said that for the second consecutive time in 20 years, currency in circulation declined during the Diwali week with consumers moving towards digital payments for their festival purchases. The report says over the years, the Indian cash lead economy now has changed to smartphone lead payment economy. It added that UPI transactions volume holds around 75% of the total transactions in the payment industry. The report also stated that the interoperable payment systems like UPI, wallets and PPIs have made it simple and cheaper to transfer money digitally even for those who don't have buying accounts. A one-day orientation program on protection of child rights and school safety was held at Government Higher Secondary School, Futsero, in Peck District on Saturday. It was jointly organised by State Council of Educational Research and Training, SCERT Nogalin, and Nogalin State Commission for Protection of Child Rights, NSCPCR, with the objective to orient parents, teachers and students on child rights and school safety. Speaking on the occasion, Secretary of NSCPCR and additional Secretary of Social Welfare, Yongqing Kamla, stressed on the need for the society, including parents, students and teachers, to protect the rights of children at home and schools. Legal consultant NSCPCR Lichani Muri said that children are protected by law and legal provisions which the society needs to be aware of. Muri said every child below 18 years of age is well protected and entitled to fundamental rights, the right to free and compulsory education, protected from hazardous employment and from being abused, from physical, mental and sexual abuse. Listen to Regional News Unit Agashwani Kohima in Focus live interactive program on a drug-free Nagaland in collaboration with the Nagaland Police Department every Monday at 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. In the fifth episode to be broadcast today, the discussion will be on the role of police in drug control and illicit trafficking in Dimapu. Listeners can also be part of this live program by sending your feedback or queries through SMS by typing FM space F your message to 9436805333 or call 0370224 The Jubilee Marathon in commemoration of 50 years of Peck District will take place on December 13. The 7 kilometers mini marathon will take place in five locations Peck Town, Chisami Town, Milori Town, Futsura Town, and Chazuba Town. It is open for 18 years and above for both men and women. The winner in each location will be awarded with 10,000 rupees each, while second and third position will get 7,000 and 5,000 rupees, respectively. The prize also includes five consolations at 1,000 rupees each. Interested persons have been asked to submit their names with age proof on or before December 10 in their respective locations at Peck DC office, Melori Futsero, Chazupa ADC offices and Chizami SDO office. 
The event is being sponsored by Department of Youth Resources and Sports, Nagaland, and supported by Peg District Golden Jubilee Event Committee. With that, we come to the end of the morning news. Have a nice day. 